Hi everybody, I'm Chef Angie Consilio with Kitchenware.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make all 17 beverages on the new Jura E8 in the Piano White. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, and hit the bell at the top. Let's go ahead and prepare a single espresso. Look at how beautiful that is. That's almost maxed out at the max strength setting. So that's close to 16 grams, maybe about 14 grams of coffee in this shot. Look at the crema on that. We are using our super crema blend. Let's select two espressos. time and brew a second time. So you're going to be putting two cups beneath the adjustable spouts. Next, I'm going to make a cappuccino from the Jura Joe app on my smartphone. Simply press the button and it will Prepare it on the machine. You'll also have an opportunity to adjust the amount of water and the amount of milk foam here too. The fine foam frother is on the front here and just behind the milk spout is the coffee spout. So it will do everything for you from start to finish. And that's really beautiful layering taking place. Lovely. Next, I'm going to show you how to prepare a beverage with an extra shot. You simply hold the bottom left little icon down, select extra shot. On the screen now, you're going to see a white illuminated bean on three different beverage options. On the cappuccino, on the flat white latte macchiato. So we're gonna go ahead and make a cappuccino with an extra shot of espresso. So as you can see, it's prepared one shot of espresso and now it's pulling the second shot, the extra shot for our cappuccino. Jura's done a beautiful job with their fine foam frothers. The level and excellence of a micro foam that comes from these fine foam frothers is something that you cannot always find with a different type of machine. The 0.6 liter glass milk container is really handy and so easy. When you're done entertaining, you can simply pop this into the refrigerator. This can, of course, come off. Next on the agenda, we're gonna prepare a single coffee. I wanna to check to see what the factory settings are for the product settings. And we have a stronger strength setting. We can adjust that. We'll go and check the volume. It's gonna brew five ounces and temperature is at high. Wonderful. So now when I press the button, I'll also again be prompted if I wanna make any last moment changes. There's a beautiful layering happening. The Super Crema has a little more Robusta beans in it, so it allows for that extra really rich, creamy, thick crema on top. Next, let's make two coffees. Simply press the button twice. Next, we're going to prepare an authentic Americano thanks to the hot water spout. Now, just to take a look at what Jura's preset settings are, factory settings, we've got a bit of a stronger coffee strength, 4.5 ounces of volume, temperature is high, and the bypass water is three ounces. So if you wanted to change anything there, you certainly can. I'm going to keep it as the factory settings. And again, this is more of a traditional way of making an Americano where the machine is going to be preparing the shot of coffee, of espresso, and then separately it will prepare hot water. Thank you. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and prepare the cafe barista, which is going to be prepared in a similar way to the Americano. The main difference here is the factory settings for the volume of coffee to water. The barista, cafe barista has three ounces of coffee to about two ounces of water in the preset settings, whereas the Americano had four and a half ounces of coffee to three ounces of water. we're going to make the cortado. What I'm going to do is make it from the Jira Joe app. What I really love about this app, they've done such a great job. In the order section, I can add a beverage, a product. I can add a cortado, for example. I can adjust the strength, the amount of water, and the amount of milk foam. I can save that. That is going to be queued to be made on the machine. What's great about this order application is if I'm entertaining and I have six guests over, I can add everybody's beverage to the order and it will be queued to be made with the machine. So I don't have to remember what anybody wants. I can simply add it into the app and simply forget about it. Go ahead and make the cortado. And of course, you can make adjustments to that if you'd like. Next, we're going to prepare a espresso doppio. Next, we're going to brew a macchiato. Next is the latte macchiato. Let's prepare a latte macchiato with the extra shot. Going into the bottom left of the menu, select extra shot. The white bean is now illuminated. On the beverages, we have that option to prepare with the extra shot function. Now remember, the E8 doesn't have the lever to adjust the texture of milk foam like the S8 version does. Keep in mind that the milk consistency will be different between the different milk-based beverages, and that is the factory setting. So you will certainly see a difference in milk consistency between, for example, a latte macchiato versus a flat white. There will be more foam in the latte macchiato. Let's prepare the extra shot latte macchiato. just such beautiful layering happening. We have our heated milk at the bottom, we have our frothed milk right on the top, and our two shots of espresso are layering in just between. Next we're going to prepare a flat white. Next, we'll prepare a flat white with the extra shot function. Keep in mind that the extra shot version of a beverage does contribute to the total amount of beverages the machine can make, the 17 beverages capable on the E8.
If you have a craving for a tea latte or just straight plain milk foam, or if you've got any kitties, milk foam is great so you can achieve a hot chocolate, a tea latte. You can of course adjust the amount of seconds for the milk foam. This is always a nice feature to have on a super automatic. Last but not least, our hot water option. Great for teas. You can select the temperature, you can select the volume, 